Welcome back to First Time Fish Keeper. By now, your tank should be ready to add the first fish. As we discussed, your aquarium needs live bacteria to function properly. And after several editions of our starter culture, ours is ready for a small group of fish. The hydro filter means that any toxins will be immediately removed. But if you're running a different style of filter, you won't have this safety net. We'll add another dose of our starter culture to give the bacteria a boost. With the waste from the fish, they'll soon multiply. We've tested the water and the results show zero ammonia and nitrite, so we're adding some zebra danios. Danios are great fish with a long history in the aquarium hobby. They'll shoal in the upper reaches of the tank and like most community fish, they'll be so busy with one another that they'll ignore most of their tank mates. If zebras aren't your thing, they have some equally forgiving relatives such as leopard, pearl and orange fin danios. Whatever species you decide on, it's important to keep this kind of fish in good numbers. As a shoal may number thousands of individuals in the wild, six is an absolute minimum. Many of the problems seen with bullying or compatibility in community fish in aquaria stem from keeping them in numbers that don't allow them to express normal natural behaviours. Don't be tempted to create a Noah's Ark with two of everything. Choose your favourites and keep them in groups. To give your new pets the best start, it's important to avoid stress. And this all begins with their journey home from the store. By using a transport bag, such as this one, your new pets are shielded from changes in light and temperature and will arrive home in a much more relaxed condition, ready to begin their new lives. Well-packed fish are excellent travellers that may have already come halfway around the world, but the less time they spend in transit, the better. If you have a journey home of an hour or more, inform the staff catching your fish so that they can take the necessary steps to make this go as smoothly as possible. This clever little box is called a Fintro and it's designed to introduce your new aquarium fish the right way every time. A one-way valve on the bottom here allows aquarium water to seep in, mixing with the bag water that the fish are used to. It'll sink slowly as the water mixes which then allows the fish to just swim away in their own time. Gently remove the fish from your transport bag. And then untie the knot, rubber band, or just cut the top off. before gently decanting the fish into the fintro, ready for introduction. To contain any overflowing water, we'd recommend using your fintro over the draining board. Before adding your new fish, turn off the aquarium lights to reduce stress. If you'd rather introduce your fish using the bag they came in, then turn the aquarium light off and gently float the bag in the tank for approximately five minutes. Untie or cut the knot off and roll the top down to make the bag float. Gradually introduce some of your aquarium water into the bag every five to ten minutes. Although some people may have concerns about adding shop water to their aquarium, there's actually no reason to worry unless there's a lot of waste visible in the bag or your new pets have been in transit for over an hour. After 30 to 60 minutes, lower the bag below the surface and allow your fish to swim out into their new home.
They may be hardy and forgiving, but they won't survive on water alone. As the archetypal tropical fish, Danios will thrive on a good quality flake food. Being surface feeders, they'll normally be first to the food and their speed and agility puts them at an advantage at meal times. In the early days of your aquarium, it's important to keep the feeding light. More fish are killed by overfeeding and its effect on water quality than any other cause at this point. Drop a few flakes into the tank and the fish will do the rest. Apart from large predatory types, fish are used to foraging all day and should always be looking for their next meal. For this reason, it's best to feed little and often. By now, you may have some algae growing on the glass and the decor. This is normal and any healthy aquarium will have some algae growth. It's just a case of cleaning where needed and minimising the factors that encourage its growth. Algaes love old water and use the phosphates and nitrates that build up as a nutrient source. So regular partial water changes of around 25% weekly will help keep it at bay. We'll look at water changes in more detail next time. For now, we'll use the easiest tool for the job, a floating magnet that enables the fish keeper to keep their hands dry. Check you have the right one for your tank, as those designed for glass can easily scratch plastic or acrylic. Make sure you don't pick up any sand or gravel as you're cleaning, as this can lead to scratches. When not in use, the magnets can be parked out the way, but take care not to put them too near to equipment that might be affected by a magnetic field, such as heaters. For more stubborn algae, scrapers are needed, and these are rather more hands-on. Watch the aquarium seals if using a blade, and make sure these are thoroughly dried after use to avoid corrosion that can cause damage. As well as water changes, chemical filter media can be used to absorb some of these nutrients. Very useful if you have room in your filter. Plants are also happy to compete with the algae, so make sure you keep them in top fighting form with regular additions of fertiliser. When the aquarium's more mature, we'll add some fish to help with the housework too, and a range of clean-up crew are available that excel at different roles. So, we've got our first fish in the tank and there'll be more to follow. Slow stocking is the best route to success and it's easier to add fish than to remove them. Take the time in between editions to research other fish that might interest you. The more homework you do on the fish that take your fancy, the less likely you are to end up with unpleasant surprises. I can recommend our online databank for further reading. Take time to watch and enjoy your new fish. It's been proven to lower your heart rate and promote relaxation. In order to return the favour and ensure that they remain as free of stress as possible, test the water regularly and don't be tempted to feed them too much. If in doubt, feel free to recap the last episode where we spoke about the pitfalls of new tank syndrome. See you next time.